She's doing her makeup. Aye, maybe one, one out no, of No, no, not one. She was sitting doing her makeup. Well, I wouldn't be doing my makeup in the car. Well, you're a nightmare. Well, I'm not. I know my brother's boyfriend nearly crashed looking at a girl in the street. Terrible. Well, that's ridiculous. Terrible. But no, you believe it, madam. You know, the women drivers are a nightmare. Well, I've got a The sooner a we get y'all off the road, the better. Well, I've got a theory. Every man that comes across my path it seems to be a man with glasses. Well, I don't know if they're not getting their eyes tested in time enough to be out in the car, but I mean, they're just a nightmare. Now, wait a minute, I can't even see who I'm talking to there. Come here, come. Uh huh. Oh, she sounds, is it? Here you are, uh huh. With your camera and all your fancy stuff and all the rest of it. Where have you been? Out for fish and chips. All the rest of it. You didn't bring me chips, did you? No, because you don't care. That's the problem. You don't care about anybody except yourself. Here a man sitting big show tonight, all the rest of it. Most of the people in Scotland then, you know what I'm saying to you? Full bit, tumshies, fatties, single mothers, taxi drivers, the full bit, school teachers, all oh, the will be in there. You bet your bottom dollar, I'll tell you that for nothing, truck drivers. Just get myself sorted out because I'm a wee bit sweaty and I wanted to get all that sorted out, so that's just as well. By the way, did you get us the sewer prunes, no? Because I gave you money for two ounces of sewer plumes. That's the trouble with people, they don't listen half the time. Or are we, uh, are we torpedo, are we licorous, licorous torpedo? Ah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's quite smart, mind you, eh? Best tweed, the old Donegal here, the herring bone, and all that stuff. Put the glasses on, and all the bonnets squint. I have to square myself up a wee bit, you know, you've got to square yourself up these days. Put my gloves on in case anybody wants to shake my hand. Clean gloves, you know, so it should be a safe handshake they're getting. Right, that's fine. Okay, okay, now that you're here, you may as well come with me. Aha, uh -huh. right, that's it, I think we're fine. If we're not ready, we never will be. <sighs> okay, I'm off. Now listen, you lot have better stay here, okay, because, uh, you're just getting everybody's road out there, all right? Now, I mean it. Now, 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 stop it. Stop it. All right, get the go. Big time. It's a very smartly dressed punters in. I've got a weak finish, you see, so I don't want too much of that. What a week I've had, eh? What do you think of that bishop, eh? That bishop, that archbishop. Some man, I'll tell you. He, he, he knows a mate of mine, you know, up in the islands, and he was telling me when he was up there, he was in seeing this other boy, I think, actually ran the other side, you know, the kind of, the big prodies and all that stuff. So I went in to see him one night, he says, I'll tell you, he says, someday we're on an island, a Scottish island, somebody's nicked my bicycle. Somebody's nicked my bicycle, he said, would you believe it, a crime-free island, somebody's nicked my bicycle. So the minister says to me, he says, well, I'll tell you what we'll do, Roddy, he says, go back to the kirk, he says, and uh, in the midst of next Sunday's mass, he says, go through the command, you get to thou shalt not steal, have a look at all the faces, have a look at all the faces, <laughs> and if anybody's looking guilty, then they're the ones that took the bite, you know. So he says, I did, so he saw him after mass, he saw him after mass, and he says, he says to me, he says, I did exactly what you'd said, he says, I went through all the commandments, he says, I got to thou shalt not steal, and just as I thought, they were all sound asleep. He says, then of course I got to thou shalt not commit adultery, and I remember where I'd left the bike. <laughs> there it is. That's that. Oh. Awful nice to see you. Now, what we're talking tonight, uh, I want to, uh, I've had a fair bit of criticism about my attitude to women, and uh, one of the things I feel that, that it's wrong, you know, it's not very fair that people think I'm against women. Does anybody here think I'm against women? No. Yeah. Yeah. You all do. You all think I'm against women. Yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Why? Why? Why is it? Why do people think I'm against women? Well, I'm not against women. I love women. You know. Are you sure? Of course, I'm absolutely positive. I'm absolutely positive, for heaven's sake. I've been engaged to one for 18 years. <laughs> You know, the thing is, actually, she says, is it no time we get married? I says, who would have us? <laughs> All that nonsense. Why do you think my attitude to women stinks then? Hey, anybody any ideas? Because of some of the things I've said. 
What like? Is there any, can anybody think of anything I've said? Criticising women drivers. Criticising women drivers. Well done. Well done. What's your name, darling? Nicola. Nicola. Nicola thinks I criticise women drivers. Well, I've got news for you, baby. I do. <laughs> Certainly. And you can tell why, because there they are. They should be banned from the outside lane of the motorway. They should be banned altogether. This is true, I'm telling you. They should be banned altogether, right? From driving altogether. I, I feel like sending my license back to Swansea. You got it. <laughs> what do you mean if I got a license and all the rest of it? Hey, of course I've got a license. But I mean, they should be banned from the outside. I don't think the roads will be safe until all the women are actually off the road. Do you agree with that, sir? Fair point. point. There's a gentleman who agrees with me, see? Quite right, sir. It's dangerous out there, isn't it? It certainly is. Eh, certainly is dangerous out there. But have you had a problem with it, sir? Do you find it quite dangerous out there? I've had various problems. Uh-huh. Uh, it generally tends to be a roundabout. There's nothing coming. <laughs> Now this gentleman, now this gentleman says, a woman goes to a roundabout, right, and she stops when there's nothing coming. It's a bit like sex, isn't it? <laughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. Girls, why do you stop when there's nothing coming? You stop because there's rubbish there. Right? And a wee lady here about to talk, wait a minute, 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 tell me, come, come here, I talk to this lovely lady, what's your name, darling? Roberta. Roberta. Can I shake hands with you? I've got my clean mitts on tonight. Very nice to see you. Safe handshakes. Now, Roberta, why do you think it's unfair that uh, women stop when there's nothing coming? Why do they do it? They don't do it. They don't do it? Never. So they go round the roundabout? Round the roundabout. Right. And they follow the road that they're going? They follow the road that they're going. Uh -huh. You're not from here, are you? You're from the north of England. Well, Scotland now. Glasgow. Oh, Scotland. Well, where were you originally then? Oh, St. Anne's. Lytham St. Anne's. Anne's. Very Anne's. nice. Anne's. Yes, yes. My grandfather lives in Lytham. Oh. He doesn't want to live there, but it's the law, you see. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to, you know. <laughs> so, you know, if you're over 70, you've got to live in Lytham. Very nice. Are, are you married, love? Yes. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> if you live in Lytham, you've got a shilling, you know. Now, no, tell yes. me this, actually. What, they, they go round the roundabout, but why? Why do they go round the roundabout slowly? But they don't, they just go round No, like they the don't accelerate, you see, the problem is... But I do. This lady accelerates round the roundabout, she's well. doubly dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> no, the whole thing is, what I'm saying to you, yes. right? Yes. They get halfway round the roundabout, uh -huh. the person that they give way decides that he actually wants to come out and goes for it, and then the woman slows down again. So he stops. Then he thinks I can go for it, and she speeds up. <laughs> yes, do you not do that? No. But you know what your accelerator's for? Uh-huh. Yes, so why not use it? <laughs> I do. I'm every bit as good as any man. Right, this lady's as good as any man.